So you have a Samsung Galaxy tablet and you have an issue where it's not charging. I'm gonna give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now. Now, first thing is first, for, for those of you that actually don't have a tablet that's totally dead and you're able to boot it up, so if you have one that's on, first thing I want you to do is go ahead and uh, restart it. Basically, just turn it off and then turn it back on, okay? Now, most of you guys probably have one that's totally dead. You can't boot it up or nothing, okay? Anyway, first thing I want you guys to do is go ahead and grab your charging cable and I want you to go ahead and plug it in, okay? And if you plug it in, like, if you plug it in and it's totally dead, after like a few seconds, you should get some kind of lightning bolt, okay? So I know that this one here is charging. Or obviously, if the screen is on, you'll know it's charging, you'll be able to see the lightning bolt on the uh, battery icon up there. So with the cable um, plugged in, what I, what I want you guys to do this, okay? I want you to go ahead and grab the cable and give it like a little wiggle first and see if it starts charging, okay? Also, I want you to do this, okay? Go ahead and grab the cable up here and go ahead and bend it like this and then wait a little bit and see if it charges no charge then bend it the other way hold it down like this see if it charges no charge turn it the other way no charge turn it the other way a lot of times it's actually an issue with the cable now if you were able to bend it like this and it starts charging then typically the culprit right there is actually your cable so the first thing that i would do is go ahead and try a different cable borrow a friend's or maybe you have one laying around Okay, another thing to note too is, believe it or not, your wall adapter could be faulty as well, okay? So what I would suggest, if you have another one laying around, uh, this is to an iPhone, this one works with this one, this uh, tablet as well, go ahead and grab another um, wall adapter and try that. Another thing that's very, very important too is that your actual wall socket, maybe you have this plugged in to the wall. What I want you to do then is go ahead and pull it out and plug it into another socket. Okay, because a lot of times uh, maybe it's not giving it enough power to actually juice up uh, your actual tablet. If it's still not working, try a different outlet, okay, just in case. Also, what you can do is go ahead and take the wall adapter off, and then if you have a, um, a, a multi port or like a charging USB slot, you can plug that in there, wait a little bit, see if it charges. Also, go ahead and try to plug it into your computer or your laptop, wait a little bit, see if it charges. Hopefully one of those issues is actually the fix for you, okay? However, if not, the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and grab your tablet, and what you wanna do is go ahead and clean it out. Now, now this one's a USB Type-C, and I have another, you know, I mean, but it doesn't matter. You, you may have a USB Type-C connector, you know, with the newer ones, or you may have an older tablet where it takes like the micro uh, USB connector. Anyways, go ahead and look on the bottom here. Now it's possible that you have like lint that can be stuck in there, uh, dust, uh, maybe you have something sticky in there, uh, coffee, soda got in there. Even like water hand lotion can uh, damage the uh, port inside here. Just make it dirty, okay? So first thing is go ahead and grab yourself something skinny like a toothpick, like a wooden toothpick, even a plastic toothpick. It's not really advised to use like a uh, something metal that's um, sh um, thin and pointy. Like you're thinking of using a paper clip. It's not really advised to use metal on metal in here, okay? Even though, I mean, I'm guilty of doing it before, and I've never had issues, but you really don't want to do metal to metal, okay? Anyways, what you want to do is go ahead and grab your toothpick, and you just want to go ahead inside the port and just gently rub and try to pull out if there's anything in there. A lot of times what will happen is you'll get like a couple little strings like pop out, and you go ahead and grab it, and you pull it out, and there's a big old fuzzball in there, okay, of like lint. Because you get like lint buildup in there, and then, you know, a little bit of lint in there, and then you put in the charging cable, and then you take it out, and there's more lint build up, and you keep pressing all that lint to the very back of the charging port. So you wanna make sure you, you try to get all the way back there and kind of move up and see anything comes out. Okay, obviously this one here is already clean. Also, I'm not responsible if anything uh, gets damaged, okay? And so after this, blow it in, grab the toothpick again, and just keep doing that, okay? Blow on the port, now plug it in to see if it charges. If it doesn't, next thing is go ahead and try a toothbrush here, okay? So you got the bristles here. Put the bristles in there and just give it like a, new, a nice clean like that. Blow on it. Give it a nice clean again. Pop your charging cable in and hopefully it is not charging, okay? If it's not, then I want you to go ahead and grab the toothpick, do the toothpick again and the toothbrush again and then plug it in and see if it's finally charging. Now, by now, most of you guys should be up and running. Now, if you're still not, then what I would recommend 
is start back to the beginning of the video and watch every step, okay? Because we basically clean out the port on the last step here. And, you know, that could have been the issue right there. But now, you know, it's possibility that your port's cleaned up. But now it's, you know, it could be your wall adapter. It could be the uh, socket that's plugged into. Or again, it still may be the issue with your cable. Anyways, guys, let me know which step worked for you. Uh, if it worked for you, give me a thumbs up. If it didn't, give me a thumbs down. There should be at least a 50% uh, like to uh, dislike ratio, okay? Anyways, guys, good luck.